Well, okay, binomial probability basically means that there's only two things that can happen, like either you win or you lose, or it's like, you know, you make the shot or you miss the shot, or it's like success, failure, okay? It's like one of two options, you know, heads or tails, like that kind of thing. So if we take a look at the formula here, we've got n choose k, p to the k times one minus p to the n minus k. So what, are, what do all these variables represent? Well, okay, n represents the number of trials. Okay, so the number of times you flip a coin or you know, number of basket uh, shots that you take or whatever it is that you're, you're working with. Okay, and then p, what p represents is the probability of success. Uh, as a decimal. So if it's a 20% chance of success, that's 0 0.20 and so on. And then 1 minus p is the probability of failure. So if it's, there's a 20% success rate, that means there's an 80% failure rate because they have to add up to, to 1, right, to 100%. And so k here represents, you know, the number of successes. So you're wondering if the probability that, you know, you make, you know, 9 out of 10 baskets or 5 out of 10 baskets, that's the number of successes. And then and minus k, that would be the number of failures. So we'll look at some examples, I'll show you what I mean. So let's take a look at this first one. If you make 70% of the basketball shots you take, what is the probability that you make exactly nine out of 10 shots? Okay, so let's look at this one. So basically you're taking 10 shots. So that's gonna be 10 choose. We wanna make nine, right? So this is 10 choose nine. We know the probability of making the basket is 70%, which is 0 0.70 or 0 0.7, and we wanna make nine of those, and then the probability of missing, okay, or not making the shot is 30%, so that's 0 0.30 or 0 0.3, and one of those. So if we simplify this, 10 choose nine is 10 factorial over 10 minus nine, one factorial, nine factorial, and then we have 0.7 to the ninth, and 0.3 to the first. So if you simplify that out, 10 factorial divided by nine factorial is just gonna be 10. And if you simplify that out, that's gonna give you the probability. Okay, so let's look at another example. What is the probability that if you flip a coin 20 times, you get heads exactly seven times? So we're not saying seven or more, we're just saying you know exactly seven. So same idea here. What we're going to do is we're going to say 20 times, so that's 20 trials, so you can see n is 20, and we want to get heads exactly 7 times, so k is 7. We know that when you flip a coin, there's only two possibilities, you know, it's either going to land on heads or tails, and so that's going to be a one-half probability. We want to get heads 7 times. Of course, not getting heads would also be 50% or one-half, okay, getting tails, and that would have to be 13 of them. Okay, so if you simplify this quantity, you're gonna get uh, the probability as a decimal, and then you can convert it to a percentage if you wanna talk about percent chance. But again, just with the, the 20 choose seven, this is 20 factorial over 20 minus seven factorial, seven factorial, and then you can simplify the rest of this here. Okay, so this is how you work with binomial probability. Just remember, it's when you only have two options, success or failure, and you can use the formula here. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope you're learning something and getting something out of it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Take a look at some of my past videos, and I've got more videos coming here for you, so stay tuned. I'll talk to you in the next video.